neither thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hesiba. That means my pleasure. The Lord is going to say you are my delight. And you are my pleasure. Because there is a new man with a new name. And then it says, And thy land Beulah. That means marriage. Thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighteth in thee. And thy land shall be married. Look at verse 5. For the young man marrieth a virgin. So shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over you this year. I have set watchmen upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Proclaim the message. Declare the message. Spread each abroad. Ye new man with a new name. And the Lord says to Hephzibah, and he has delight and pleasure in you. And you'll be so united to you as the bride is united to the bridegroom. And he says, you have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Let the delight and the mercy, the compassion, the joy of the Lord be your strength. And then go out this year and go and succeed. And let the pleasure of the Lord, the glory of the Lord shine upon your life. Then it says that you give him no rest in verse 7. Till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Till this church shall become glory, glorious. And he prays in the earth that you will not keep quiet. In verse 8 the Lord has won by his right hand. And by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn for meat to thine enemies. That the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. This year you will enjoy the work of your hands. Enemies will not take whatever belongs to you. And when you come to the church, you come to retreat, you come to a conference or anywhere, your property will be totally preserved. But night, for they that have gathered it shall eat it. And praise the Lord, they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Cast off, cast off. The highway gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. This year we're lifting up the standard. In every family we'll raise up the standard. In every district church we're going to raise up the standard. In the central church and the headquarters we're going to raise up the standard. In every family and every community we're going to raise up the standard. And the standard that is broken down. It is time and it is this year. It will be raised up in Jesus' name. Before the Lord has proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion. Behold that salvation cometh. Behold that reward is with him. And his walk before him. They shall call them. This is our name. The holy people. The redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. As we look at the scriptures this Sunday on the new man with a new name. The new man with a new name. I divide the message to three parts. Number one, the new name of the new man. The new name of the new man. And God says that in this new year, He wants to do something new in our lives. And because of that, he even has to change our names. Your names are changed. No more failure but success. No more sadness but joy. Happiness in Jesus' name. No more barren but you are fruitful. No more poor but you are prosperous. Because this year there is a new man. There is a new man. Where is that new man now today? Oh, you are there. I see you. And then you have a new name. 
I said you have a new day. And you'll see that blessing upon your life in Jesus' name. Point number one, the new name with of the new man. Point number two, the new nature of the new man. The new nature of the new man. Number three, the new nation of the new man. The new nation of the new man. Number one, the new name. Number two, the new nature. Number three, the new nation. Let's come back to this um, passage in Isaiah chapter 62. Isaiah chapter 62. I'm reading to you from verse 2. And a gentle shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. The new name of the new man. What name is that? Let Isaiah tell us. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 26. And I will restore thy judges as at the first. And thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness. The faithful city. That's the new name. The city of righteousness. That means that the whole church will be referred to as the community of righteousness. As the city of righteousness. As the nation of righteousness. Which means then every member will have this new name. Righteousness. And then it says the faithful city. Which means everyone then has this new name. Which is righteousness and uh, faithfulness. We're looking at chapter 4 of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that has left his Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. That's the new name. Shall be called holy. Even everyone that is reaching among the living in Jerusalem. That means that this year you will not be called backslider. Yeah. You will not be called sinner. Yeah. You will be called holy. Everyone that is reaching among the living. Thank God that is you. Look at verse 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the fields of the daughters of Zion. And shall purge the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof. By the spirit of judgment. And by the spirit of burning, you see the new name the Lord is calling us. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12. Isaiah 58, verse 12. A new name. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12. And they shall be, and they that be of thee, they, sh they that shall be of thee, shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. This year, you will not be a destroyer. You will be a repairer, and you will be a restorer. You see, that's the new name the Lord is calling us. It says, all those people who are called by my name. They are there to repair. They are there to restore. And they are there to restore my glory unto the land. They are there to repair whatever is broken down. You'll be a repairer. You'll be a restorer in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 14. The new name by which we are called. We are looking at Isaiah chapter 16 verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord. The Zion of the Holy One of Israel. The names are beautiful this year. The names, your names are glorious this year. Whereas thou hast been turned, thou hast been forsaken and hated. 
so that no man went through thee 